Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, you know I had to do this. I'm going to be doing a wear test of the brand new Pat McGrath concealer along with the under eye powder. So if you want to see my experience with this system today and how it worked for me, then just keep watching. So I know I look crazy right now. I only have foundation and eyebrows on. So I did use the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer as well, of course, as the Sublime Perfection Foundation. In case you're curious, I wear the shade Light Medium 9 in the foundation. It's a really good match for me. And just so you know, for some background knowledge, I do really enjoy the foundation. A lot of people were kind of upset with this foundation or underwhelmed. I personally really like it. I like how natural it feels on the skin. I like how natural it looks on the skin as well. It is a very nice everyday foundation in my opinion. So let's get into the concealer. Now keep in mind this video is a true first impressions. I haven't even opened this stuff up yet, but I picked up of course the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I picked mine up in light medium 9. I'm hoping it's a system to where the foundation and concealer are paired together. This concealer is $32. It comes in at 37 shades. I personally ordered mine off of Sephora.com because I wanted it to come to my house as quickly as possible. Pat McGrath does have a very nice range as far as skin tones go and it's described as a creamy lightweight full coverage concealer with a natural radiant matte finish that brightens under the eyes and hides the appearance of blemishes. So full coverage, natural finish, more of like a radiant matte it says for all different skin types and in here you are getting 0.16 fluid ounces and this product is made in Italy. We're also going to be trying out the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection blurring under eye setting powder. Haven't even opened it yet. Comes in three shades. I got mine in the shade light. This is $30 and it is a brilliantly blendable ultra lightweight under eye setting powder that brightens and blurs for luminous soft focus effects. Light coverage, natural finish, and it's a pressed powder. So those are the two products we're going to be working with today. I did not buy the brushes that came with this collection or system I guess is a better way of putting it just because I really want to try it in the way that I would normally try and apply my own makeup and not only that I don't need to spend any more money on any more brushes in my collection but she did come out with brushes that are supposed to work well with these products but let's get into the concealer so as far as packaging it comes in a cardboard box I feel like it's kind of cheap for Pat McGrath it's just like a cheap little cardboard box I mean it's cute but not in very Pat McGrath style but I do like how there's a little window in the front where you can see the product and the concealer itself it feels very weighty it actually looks kind of small it's really kind of nondescript there it's just a regular tube I wish it was a little bit more fancy as most of her products are but I mean I've learned from her complexion products they don't really seem to be that fancy with the packaging so like I said I have mine in light medium 9 and something interesting at the bottom it says that the shelf life on this is six months so I'm gonna zoom you in and we're going to see how this baby applies so here's what the applicator looks like it's just a regular sponge tip applicator so I'm not a huge concealer person I don't really put too much concealer on so I'm just gonna do with like this much and I always use my beauty blender for concealer so it's blending pretty easily oh wow that actually is quite a lot of coverage and then the color seems to pair well with the foundation. Now the foundation has a pretty light natural coverage to it. So this actually kind of adds extra coverage to the complexion, which could be a good thing if you want to add more coverage with the foundation or a bad thing if you want to stay with the light foundation, light concealer kind of deal. Ooh, that looks really, really smooth. I'm gonna add just a little bit extra. And I like that even though I got the same shade between the foundation and the concealer, it is a touch lighter, but it's not too light or too brightening. I hate a concealer that's too brightening. So this is like just one shade lighter and I think that's perfect. And oh my gosh, my skin looks super blurred. I don't know if you can see that. That's stunning. Wow. Okay, and it looks super moisturizing as well. I will be the first to admit that darkness isn't really something that I struggle with too much. It gets covered up pretty easily, but it did really cover up the darkness that I do have. So you don't need too much product with this. It's not a super liquidy concealer. It is a little bit more thick. It's not a super thick concealer, but it's definitely not a really liquidy one. Wow, I'm actually very impressed with that coverage. Now it's not like tart shape tape kind of coverage, 
but this is like pretty heavy duty compared to how I normally <laughs> like concealers. I like a pretty light coverage concealer. I am highly impressed. So for fun, since I am breaking out down here, we're gonna take advantage of that. That's probably the only good thing about breaking out for today and I'm just gonna cover it even though it's not the like perfect skin tone shade. I'm gonna see if that kind of covers it. Oh wow, that did a really good job with this. Oh, even with spot concealing, not bad. I am gonna put a little bit more foundation over that though, just to bring the original color back. But that did help as far as spot concealing. I mean, off the bat, the concealer is looking really, really good. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the blurring under eye setting powder. I expect this to be blurring, except it comes in this stupid cold packaging that's about to make a huge mess. Hold on, I need to do this over a trash can. Just so you can see the packaging of this guy, it's kind of like a bubble compact. It's plastic, it feels kind of cheap, it says Pat McGrath. I got mine in the shade light. There is a light, a medium, and a darker shade. This has four grams of product or 0.14 ounces. This actually has a 24 month lifespan and this is also made in Italy. I personally love powders made in Italy, so I'm excited about this. And when we open it, this is what the light looks like. And I was a little bit nervous because it's like white. Hopefully it's more translucent. I'm actually going to only use it to set on one eye just to see if there's really a difference because sometimes I won't set my concealer. So I'm going to use the Refer 19 brush. This is my go-to setting powder brush. So, not too much kickback. I'm gonna zoom you in so we can see if there's really a difference. I'm not a big baker, <laughs> meaning like I don't bake too much with my powders. I usually just like to lightly set with a brush or press it in very lightly with a sponge. I mean, yeah, I definitely see some blurring happening compared to this eye. It did brighten just a touch as well, but I think that has to do with the shade. I do have more of a light medium skin tone and this is a fine shade for me. I always find that with powders, sometimes it can bring back just a touch of darkness because you kind of mattify it, but no, it does look really smooth. We'll have to see how the creasing differs from one eye to the other. I'm gonna back up now. So, so far on initial application, I'm really liking it. I'm gonna go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, see how after 15 or 20 minutes, how the concealer settles in. So I'll be right. So I just finished the rest of my makeup. We went with a very light monochromatic kind of pink look today. I didn't wanna do anything too heavy on the eyes because I feel like sometimes, especially when you put shadow down here, that can kind of cover up a bad concealer. So I really wanted to see what was going on down here and with all of the makeup on the concealer is still looking good it's quite flexible to the natural lines under my eyes but it's not sinking in so it's just kind of laying on top and looking really nice I was impressed by the coverage of this honestly as I was expecting it to have less coverage just because of the nature of the foundation but this has really good coverage and I love the consistency of this concealer it's not super watery it actually has some thickness to it but it's not too thick to where it's hard to spread out it spreads out quite easily easily but that little bit of thickness helps with the coverage but it still looks super natural and not cakey underneath the eyes as of now for the powder this is an extremely lightweight powder it almost felt like I was putting nothing under my eyes and to be honest it, it looks like almost nothing is under my eyes so everything looks really natural really healthy right now I'm just filming this really late it is about 4 30 right now I put the concealer on at about 4 so I'm gonna try and get at least six hours of wear time out of this but so far initial application everything is looking fantastic and right now the non-powdered side is looking just as good as the powder side so I'm gonna go about my day watch The Bachelor I need to catch up on my <laughs> 90 day fiance reunion and I will be back to update you. Hello, so it is 6.15. So I've been wearing the concealer now for about two hours. I'm in the middle of cleaning up my makeup and I'm getting lazy, I just wanna stop. But anyways, let's take a look. Now that the concealer has had time to settle in, I think everything is looking pretty good. I don't notice excessive creasing or additional lines being shown. I mean, naturally, the concealer has fallen into the lines that I do have that do exist. I definitely notice that much more lines are showing where I did not powder, so I wouldn't say this concealer needs powder. It doesn't, but to get the best effect, from what I can see, 
I'm liking the powder side better and it's just a little bit of powder. I have dry skin and powder was more helpful. It's making it more long wearing. Uh, nothing is really bunching up. Nothing's looking cakey. I think overall it just looks really lightweight under my eyes and just like my skin. So, so far so good. I will join you again at the six hour mark. Hello dear friends. We have made it into the evening. It is about 11 o'clock. So we're almost at about the seven hour wear time and I'm ready to go to bed. But I just wanted to give a quick final check-in for the concealer and it is looking so good. She did a good job with this. So I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see. Honestly, not much has changed between the two hour mark and now. Obviously, as you can see, there is just a touch of creasing, but that's not any more than any regular concealer. I definitely prefer the side with the powder. I think the concealer and the powder work very nice together. They complement each other. Overall, this is just a really nice, flexible, lightweight concealer. It gives you some coverage it lasts relatively well and for my personal eyes and my personal experience I don't notice any additional creasing I mean of course like my under eyes aren't baby skin smooth but if you got lines you got lines you know so obviously this is just a first impression so I'm going to continue wearing this concealer but based on my first time wear I am giving it a huge thumbs up I think it's really good I do find it to be quite a moisturizing under eye concealer so I think that's a huge thumbs up as far as comparisons, I would say probably the most similar formula I have is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. That's my favorite concealer of all time. I don't know that it beats my Too Faced concealer, but it does remind me of the texture as far as thickness goes and how easily it spreads and coverage. Anyways, that is all I have for today's wear test. Let me know if you picked this concealer up. Do you love it as much as I do? If you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys have a good one.